What's going on, people? It's your boy Astro, aka the Galaxy Shogun. Happy friggin' New Year. I just returned from Japan, and we got a lot, a lot of content planned for you One Piece related, JoJo related, even a little bit of Attack on Titan slander coming up. So, if you want to see all that anime, uncut goodness, honest opinions, not following the mob, honest, honest opinions, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, for what we are here for today. One Piece opening 26. I've had a good streak of watching all of these openings as they've come out. I did briefly see a piece of this yesterday because I was watching the episode as I was getting my hair rebraided. So, you know, I wanted to watch the episode. So I did see a bit of it, but I didn't really have time to like dissect it. So this is what this is going to be. I'll be listening, pausing, giving my comments on it. Overall, I've heard the song. It's by the um, same person that has done We Go and We Are, I believe. So that's great. So let's go ahead and react to this and give you guys my thoughts again. You guys want honest One Piece content. Amazing, rational, logical One Piece content. Hit that subscribe button. A lot of great things coming for you. And I will be moving to Japan at the end of the year. So... I think you'll have some pretty unique takes from this guy going forward. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I really like the song. It goes really well for this arc. I like the chanting, you know? And the new animation change, I gotta say, I friggin' love it. I'm a manga reader, so we obviously know uh, what's being shown there. And, you know, if you couldn't guess, it's probably a specific scientist. And, then, you know, we see some CP masks implying some stuff. Here, we see a little bit of sword, which I think next episode we're going to dive a little deeper into that doll. Looking, looking Bay as always. We see Garp. We see Kizaru there, too, which is interesting to see Kizaru with sword. I'm not going to try to be overt overtly spoiling here, but I think most of my channel is a manga audience, so I think I could speak at least a little bit here. Buggy, obviously. And then the goggle scene, we all know what that's going to be, uh, what fight that's from. Um, again, with the goggles, this kind of confirms that he, in fact, did just, like, create it out of thin air. So, you know, I called that from the beginning, and people said, no, it's like rubber or something. Doesn't quite look like rubber to me, but we'll see. Anyways, if this is what that scene is going to look like, I am pumped. Oh, my God. That, and again, spoiler for people that haven't seen manga, this might also be a preview of Luffy versus Kizaru. Because I think Luffy loses his shirt as he gets thrown out the phase or kicked out of the phase. And I think he was shirtless during that. So I think we're getting a preview of the Kizaru fight here. This opening is nuts. It's, it's just off the wall. Yeah, obviously we got, I think, Kujaku. Uh, Kobe's fangirl and Kobe. Kobe's uh, making a nice little harm for himself as of late. And then we obviously have the uh, little spoiler action with uh, Hachidosu. I think we all know uh, what's going on there as manga readers. <laughs> wow. Sentomaru Kizaru. That's an amazing scene, by the way, this Kizaru scene. Oh, also, we see somebody with what looks like Sapphire and other gems. Mm hmm? A little, a little dark backstory there that we'll get to. Manga readers, we know a little a ju jewelry something, you know, something about jewelry maybe. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's see if there's any other things we could catch here in the background. King Groose with his big old hat. Groose. Groose looking cool as hell. Excited to see some Groose cosplay, no doubt. Since tomorrow, that Kizaru scene, absolutely. You know, people have their opinions about this animation. I obviously watched the episode of 1089 already. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I, I think it was a pretty big change, but I think it matches the themes of this arc and the battles and the overall imagination and goofiness in Gear 5. It's like, it goes so well with Joy Boy and, and Luffy's Gear 5. Kuma, Chitsur from Jimbe, mm -hmm. Shaka, the Seraphims, more jewelry. Oh, and I love that where they show off all his outfits. 
that was just such a I love animation with like really defined and thick lines I think that's what like really makes this cool and then they kind of give it a real lively cartoonish feel which is just chef kiss chef kiss oh man for me personally a lot of people are wondering what that and i'm pausing a lot because again this is me dissecting and i did already see it so you know the point of this is for me to go a little bit deeper uh some of my favorite luffy outfits and i like that everyone's outfits are changing zoro's og outfit one of my favorites uh luffy's wano outfit his dress rosa outfit and his just regular post time skip outfit are, are probably my favorites that jacket from punk hazard that we're looking at is pretty cool too of course you can't go wrong with a classic nami that usopp fit i think usopp needs some cooler fits like the overalls are kind of cool but i feel like he gets like almost the least variety and sanji i don't really love his egghead fit his normal suit um yeah not much to say about it. i mean sanji's one of my favorite straw hats he's my favorite straw hat other than luffy uh above robin lower than luffy but you can't really count luffy i mean everyone's probably gonna pick him as a favorite so i would say sanji is my favorite straw hat look at those outfits oh and then we have the whole cake sanji's best outfits are onigashima the red suit is absolutely goaded but whole cake island like the the white prince frilly stuff is really cool too and same with nami that red dress chef kiss like the amount of easter eggs here beautiful Oh, and then we see Luffy going against a certain some a certain leopard. If you guys uh, you know didn't skip arcs, you'll know who that is very well. Uh, and he has a a little bit of a different look. If you could pick up that uh, black smoke on himself, uh, we'll learn more about that. We sure will. Oh, <laughs> and that's amazing. So we're seeing a lot of matchups. Uh, this is Alkiji and Garp. It's pretty wild, and then we also see. Let's see if we could get all of them. So Luffy versus Luchi, Kid versus someone who wears a cloak and has flowers on his pants, and possibly has red hair too. Hmm. Yikes! I think that this scene in the opening is arguably longer than the actual confrontation in the manga. <laughs> and then Law and a certain person with a black beard very excited for that fight then obviously we already talked about that before and then we have Zoro going against and I love the way that they kind of hit the face here of the seraphim he's going against a seraphim with the sword any guesses and again the seraphim for those of you who are just anime watchers and have watched this far and they're maybe getting spoiled by my manga comments but the seraphim again are the lunarian warlord spliced beings that vegapunk created which by the way vegapunk you don't get a free pass for being smart man you're kind of evil for bringing these abominations into the world but zoro going against him which is cool and then obviously we see luchi again versus luffy and then sanji and then you see books falling from a certain place where there might be a lot of books and two people with flowers in their hand which we know who that is uh skip 10 seconds ahead if you don't read the manga that is vega punk and dragon because they are mourning ohara the empty throne that's not so empty in actuality sabo not looking great kid <laughs> Not looking great, but I think he probably looks far worse than that in actuality. La, who, yeah, he got jumped. Uh, <laughs> and then Kobe, who, Kobe stocks her up. If you're a Kobe fan, I had would be a great arc. Vivi, which, by the way, uh, I forgot the Papa fruit, the name in Japanese, but you see Vivi near the Papa fruit, then you see Bonnie. We know the significance between Bonnie, Kuma, the Papa fruit. I won't spell it out for some people here, but we already know the significance as manga readers. But Vivi seemed to be touching the Papa fruit, which there are some theories that she would get that power. Um, let's see what happens because she's still hiding with a certain somebody right now. I love this art. I love this art. This is a master class of an opening. An absolute master class. A absolute master class. 
a absolute masterclass. Can I say it again? An absolute masterclass. 10 out of 10, including the last one uh, by Sekai Noawati, they also did a 10 out of 10 opening, but this one might even win a little bit more because it just doesn't even feel like One Piece to some extent. It feels like some... It feels like Final Saga. You know, they managed to just make it so different. It, it's like you could have rebranded the series almost at this point. Added like a One Piece... I won't even say ship it in. It's, uh, don't compare One Piece to Naruto. One Piece is in a class of its own, but you get what I'm trying to say, right? Like, this feels very much like a sequel almost with the complete change and it's great that every arc you know they're kind of switching the animation switching the feel and fitting it perfectly like if we eventually go to Elbop I'm very excited to see the route that they take with the animation if they decide to keep the uh, more cartoony animation now that Gear 5 is so relevant and uh, I guess that could maybe work for Giants but overall that's it I think it's 10 out of 10 I think that there's a ton of things here that might even spoil things for manga readers if uh, if Vivi ends up coming back and getting Kuma's fruit somehow, then, uh, yeah, I think there's been a, a few rare times where opening has been spoiled for manga readers, and I think that we're gonna get it here. I think that happened before with uh, Kyoshiro, Denjiro, that whole thing, the scabbards, but, yeah, overall, master class, beautiful opening, and I'm gonna watch this another ten times, because <laughs> there's just so much going on, but anyways, if you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you, got a lot more One Piece content coming for you, Go ahead and hit that sub button. This is your boy Astro. Remember the name, the Galaxy Shogun, coming at you with One Piece and anime content. Look out for an Attack on Titan video. It was heavily delayed. I know I talked about it in my community notes. It was coming out, but um, we're going to make some enemies. Um, I will basically never talk badly uh, or unfairly against One Piece. Um, I usually won't do that for any anime either, but um, the Attack on Titan fans have something coming because they keep calling it a... Uh, great ending and people are allowed to like what they like but they're not allowed to lie so expect a very spicy video coming out soon anyways this has been your boy i hope you had a great new year have a great year uh, respect yourself respect everybody around you take care of your friends and family and have a great freaking year see you next video peace